Hey kids, teacher Aaron here. Do you think there is more than one God? There are people out there who believe that there are many, many different gods. And people can believe whatever it is they want to believe. Well, that goes with our theme this week, which is there is only one true God. There is only one true God. And you can follow along in this true story in Acts chapter 17. Well, Paul, as he talked to people, these people believed in many, many different gods. But would they trust in the one true God, Jesus Christ? Well, it seems like everywhere Paul went, people hated him for preaching the gospel. Well, he and Barnabas went to the city of Thessalonica. And while there, they talked about Jesus as the one and only Savior. Well, some people believed in Jesus and wanted to follow him. But others formed a mob to attack Paul and Barnabas, so they had to escape. And they went to the city of Berea. And there they preached the gospel, and many people believed. And they were eager to learn more about Jesus. Well, that mob, they found them in Berea. And Paul was placed on a ship to journey to the city of Athens. Well, let's listen to Paul as he tells us about what he saw in Athens and how the people responded to the gospel. I walked through the city and I saw all these statues, these idols that the people worshipped. These kind of things, these were their gods. I began to tell the people in the city square all about Jesus, how he died for their sins and how he rose again. But you see, the people, all they wanted to do was talk about the newest and greatest ideas. They thought they could know the truth about life without actually knowing the God who created life. But I believe in the one true God and worship him alone. If you have believed in the Lord Jesus, you can worship the one true God too. The Bible tells us in Matthew 4, 10 b you shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. You know, boys and girls, God is God the creator who made you and made everything, and he is in control of everything. He's powerful, and he deserves all our worship to him. Excuse me, excuse, excuse me, miss. I, I'm sorry, but I, I overheard you say worship. What, what exactly is worship? Worship is honoring and respecting God of who he is and what he has done for us. Hmm. How, can, how can I worship God? Oh, you can worship God just by thinking of, of how good and awesome God is. You know, you can worship God by telling him thank you for what you do for us. Or even telling other people about God is worshiping God. Hmm. Loving one another is worshiping God. Huh. I love it. Thanks. So, will you worship the one true God? God is the one true God, the only God, the only one worthy, deserving of our lives. These people worship these statues. They even had a statue with the title to the unknown God. All of this greatly troubled me. See, they believed in everything except for the one true God who created them and loved them. Now, even today, people worship idols. They may not be made of stone or, or gold that they pray to and worship in that way. They could be pleasure, entertainment, anything that you love more than you love God. That's what we worship. And the scripture says that that, that is a sin. Romans 3.10 says, um, There is none that is righteous, no, not one, not one who seeks after God. And all of our sins, they cause us to be separated from God. But God loved us so much, the creator of the universe came to us. His name was Jesus. He lived a perfect life. He went to the cross and he bled and he died to rescue us from our sins. It says he was placed in a grave and three days later he came back to life. As it says in John 3.16, Listen to this, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Do you believe on Jesus so that your sins can be forgiven, so you can have the life, the eternal life that God wants to give you? I was invited to come speak with the city leaders who had authority on the things that were taught. And I told them of the one true God who created them and gave them life. I told them how the gospel was for all people everywhere that he commands us to turn from our sins to turn towards Jesus and that there was going to be a day when all the people who worship false gods would be judged 
God loved these people and he wanted them desperately to come to know him. But I ask you today, if you were standing there that day, what would you have said? Who do you follow? What do you worship? Well, some of these people, when they heard, they laughed. And others, they just wanted to know more. But still, some believed in Jesus that day. And as I left that meeting, these new believers, they came with me. Many people of Athens still worshipped the false gods, even after hearing of the one true God. You know, even today, we still worship false gods. Anything you worship other than the one true God is false worship. You are worshiping a false God, you're worshiping idols. You know, when we spend so much time on TV and playing video games and doing so many other things more than spending time with God, we are worshiping those things. But you know, boys and girls, God loves us so much. And we can start worshiping the one true God by believing in God, who he is and what he has done for us. You know, the Bible tells us in John 3, 15, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. To believe is to completely trust that Jesus is the Son of God. Completely trust that he died on the cross and came back to life. And when you do so, you start to have a relationship with him that starts now and forever with God in heaven. Will you believe in the Lord Jesus today? Again, I pray that you come back next week because Paul is going to be thrown in a prison again. Oh, man. And God's going to send him on, the, on a journey to the great city of Rome. Well, I hope you like storms and shipwrecks. It's going to be exciting. Will God keep Paul safe so he will continue to share the gospel with more people? Know this, that we continue to pray for you, that you grow in your relationship with God.